Well, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Sir, Secretary Johnson, for being here with us today. Uh, Mr. Secretary, I, I know you are Nice sure to see you again, sir. Thank you. I, I'm sure you've heard about the case regarding Miriam, Miriam Ibrahim, uh, the Sudanese Christian uh, who was sentenced to death for apostasy. Um, her husband is a U.S. citizen, and she has two young children, one of which was just born uh, two days ago in, in her mother's prison. Now, both of these children are eligible for U.S. citizenship, and this case has become so high profile that many of us are deeply concerned about uh, Miriam's safety uh, in Sudan, especially if she wins her appeal and is released back into the S Sudanese society at large. And so my question to you, Mr. Secretary, will you uh, assure this committee that you will prioritize this case and quickly review the possibility of granting Miriam a safe haven in the United States? Um, Congressman, I will personally, along with um, the appropriate component heads, take a look at this case. It sounds troubling. Thank you. Is this something the case you're aware of at this point? I was generally familiar with the case, I think, but I, I will take a look at the case. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mr. Secretary, um, the DHS Act of 2002, as you may know, lays out the roles and responsibilities of the, of the Assi Assistant Secretary of Infrastructure Protection. Now, first, can you tell us which federal agency has the primary responsibility of protecting the electric grid? And secondly, has your assistant secretary made a, uh, recommendations to protect the electric grid from all known significant hazards to include EMP and GMD, as is mandated, of course, in her role? And, and if not, why would DHS hesitate to do everything possible to protect the electric grid from potentially catastrophic events? Within DHS, sir, um, NPPD, our national programs protectorate directorate, I think I've got that right, uh, is responsible for critical infrastructure, including uh, power grids and the like. In conjunction with other federal agencies, um, we have that responsibility, but it's not ours alone. It's a shared responsibility with other federal agencies, but within DHS, that's the place where it belongs, and I agree with the sentiment of your question about the importance of protecting power grids and substations and the like. Well, we have a, a letter from DITRA that uh, expresses that the primary responsibility <clears throat> of protecting the power grid is assigned to the Department of Homeland Security with assistance from, uh, the, you know, from the Energy and Federal Regulatory Commission. And I, <clears throat> I guess I'm uh, just wondering why there doesn't, you know, this doesn't, isn't even insinuated right now in your emergency protocols, uh, electromagnetic pulse or, or geomagnetic disturbance. And I'm hoping that uh, if nothing else comes from this, that that's on your radar uh, because we have additional information that uh, seems to indicate that the threat is, is more significant than we have been aware of. I'd be, and I, I hope <clears throat> you take that back. I'd be happy to take a look at that, sir. All right. And with that, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to yield back.